You never know what's around the corner in the mountains. What's up, blondies? Trying something new, what do you think? <laughs> I gotta call you guys something. Every time I say what's up, guys, I feel like the Goonies. Hey, you guys. What do you think? Should I call you my blondies? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Or if you can think of something better. It's mid-October in upstate New York, and I think that we're pretty much past peak. If you can't tell, there's like no leaves on the trees. <laughs> so, man, it happens quick. That's for sure. But anyway, we're on a cruise today to see a couple of pretty cool sights. We're going to the longest covered bridge in, I believe it's the US, I don't think it's the world, but I'll double check and I'll throw it up here. Check out the stats for you, I don't remember. But it's the longest covered bridge, at least in the US. It is a reproduction, so I guess it got destroyed, I don't know if from age or whatever it was, they kind of rebuilt it, so it's not totally original, but it's still pretty cool. Um, and then along the way, there's a couple of really cool spots too. There's, I, I think it's an old church, but you can still see from back in the day, there's supposedly you can see the hole in the roof from like a cannonball and <laughs> going through it. So we got a couple of really cool things coming up. I'm not sure if anything's gonna be open to look around. You know, because the C word. <laughs> I know the bridges, but some of the historical buildings and stuff, I'm not really sure. So, we're going to take a beautiful cruise through the mountain, down through the valley. Sounds like a song. And, uh, see what we can see. I haven't been out this way before, this far. In other news, I finally got my saddlebags. I got me some leather pros and woo girl. Let me tell you something. I carry my own shit now. I got them stuffed to the max. I'll have a video on them coming soon. It might even be up once this is posted. I don't know. Dude, I'm pumped. I'm putting everything in there. I'm putting the kitchen sink in there. You just wait. But yeah, now I don't have like to jam all my crap in Anthony's bags. And I mean, before this, I've been riding for months with just this little thrashing <laughs> handlebar bag. So it's, it's pretty awesome. I'm really excited. Probably one of the best things I've done so far. Man, I gotta tell you, I'm not from around here. I lived closer to like the city growing up. Not super close, maybe like an hour and a half north of the city. I lived five minutes from everything. I didn't really have to drive far. I could walk a lot of places, like didn't have to drive far for anything. And moving out here where I live now, it's totally different. And when I first moved out here, it was it was pretty, you know, pretty different. It was beautiful, but, you know, it took 25 minutes to get to a grocery store, like an hour to get to like a mall or an area where there's more stores than just the grocery store. So this lockdown ain't nothing for me. I ordered everything years and years ago. <laughs> but yeah, and at first it was a little hard to get used to because there was nothing around and I couldn't just run out if I needed something. So it took a big adjustment to just have what you need, 
I mean, and it's not like we have an outhouse or anything. It's, but it's just far from, so it was different. That's what it was, it was different. But man, let me tell you, I know it's not always a trade-off, but it is beautiful. So, you know, maybe you live a little further out, but you have the scenery and the privacy, but you know, you trade off that for convenience. I mean, but now there's Amazon and everything else, so it's really not that inconvenient anymore. Now I don't know if I could go back. <laughs> when I was growing up, I thought that I would live in New York City and I'd be, you know, walking around with a briefcase and a power suit. And I went to college down towards there and that's what I thought I wanted to do. But now, mm -mm, no thank you. Like, I don't know if I could go back to that. I'm sure you get used to whatever you do, but I don't know, man. I, I dig it. Maybe you just, maybe it's just, <laughs> now I don't like people. <laughs> nah, I don't know, maybe. I'm trying to find somewhere to eat too. Not really sure what's around here. I'm not really sure, oh guys. I'm not really sure what we're gonna find. I know I'm hungry. All I ate was a Slim Jim. Speaking of Slim Jim, I think that whoever manages Slim Jim social media is freaking hilarious. I love Slim Jim. Slim Jim wins Instagram comments. <laughs> it's pretty funny. This is crap up right here. I don't even know what the hell it is. I've passed it a million times. I've never even been up to it. Oh. Like, I don't know if you want to do, like, little stuff like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just, like, a rock. And it's, like, <laughs> and it's like somebody's face or something. <laughs> I'm serious. It's, I don't know what it is. It's just a rock. Like a, I don't know if it's like a mini Mount Rushmore or something. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Hey! Look at all these wide. One, two, three, four, five. Dude, it was a player. Mm -hmm. Never mind. This is a half mile path. Oh, uh, no. Oh, deja vu. I feel like I've had dreams with that building in it before. And I've never been here. Oh, good lord. Look at that view. Woo. Grand Gorge. Oh, you know what? I've been here. We set a pole out here for somebody. I think it was that farm. We set a pole at that farm. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. You never know what's around the corner in the mountains. Hill State Park. Damn.
You're gonna learn today. Thousand dollars is what they contracted to build this bridge. What? They get they did it because uh he had a tannery and trying to get the wood to the tannery, you know, for you know, for heat and stuff. They couldn't afford the creek. Ah. It'd be too much, so they can't he was a bridge builder from Vermont. A master bridge builder. That was nice.
and that was delicious. Their chicken wings are so good, man. Extra crispy. Yes, sir. So we're going to keep riding, but I'm going to over and out here, blondies. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the scenery. Hope you enjoyed the longest covered bridge. Hopefully we get a couple more of these days here that we're going to get some rides in before it gets too miserably cold. So guys, you ride safe and I will catch you on the next one.